couple of most fuel efficient non electrified cars eke out around 40 miles per gallon on the highway. But BYU engineering students just won a national miles per gallon competition with a car that can go almost 2,000 miles on just one gallon of gas. That's from Salt Lake City to New York City for four bucks. But as I found out, it would take a long time to get there, and you're going solo without AC. When you go to compete at Indianapolis Motor Speedway, you might picture this. Wins the Indianapolis 500. Not this. Well, that day was hectic from the beginning. With their tiny svelte car, the BYU Super Mileage team had to get all four of their sessions in on the same day because BYU doesn't compete on Sundays. Their first session, they blew a tire, taking hours to find a place to fix it. Finally, in the afternoon, they were able to squeak onto the track with 10 seconds before they closed competition. It was, it was just this beautiful feeling because we thought we were we lost. We thought we couldn't get the chance to go out and win. That beautiful feeling turned into the thrill of victory, right. although they would not know until they landed in Salt Lake the next night, with the final results and award ceremony coming during their flight home. And so when we finally found out, it was like a second wave, like not only do we get uh, a number on the scoreboard, but it was happened to be the first place. So how might this win translate to your car's MPG so eventually? Better. Do you think the technology and the research put into this can apply in the real world? Yeah. That's a great question because we were working kind of like the opposite. We were cutting corners um, with things that you can do with a production car to make it work on this. For this event, you take the modern tech from new cars, strip out all the creature comforts and sensors to create the lightest, most aerodynamic vehicle with the least rolling resistance, and then put in one lightweight driver. So tell me, what is it like for the person who's driving this thing? It is, it is very brutal. Because, very cramped. Because, yeah, it's cramped, it's very uncomfortable, like your head rests, rests on this wall over here, 90 degree angle. Um, and it's very, very hot because there is no air circulation. For every pound added to the chassis, you could gain 10 miles per gallon. So a driver's weight is really a consideration. So did you make sure they have hamburgers the night before? Or yep. does he put on a sweatsuit and go for a run? <laughs> we the tried track? to make them. We said, there's, there's a hot tub. You're going to sit there and we're going to watch what you eat. So <laughs> just cut calories. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys did this at Indianapolis, which is really kind of the home of machismo. But it was funny because in an Indy 500, race they're going 200 miles an hour and we were going 20 so but just being there it felt awesome because like it, I don't want to say it put us as part of history but like to get a win there it's, it's just an amazing feeling. The team's advisor at BYU says this research isn't going to eventually make your car go coast to coast on a thimble full of gas. Sometimes people misunderstand that you know, 2,000 miles per gallon is something you could get with your car and still have your creature comfort. Still, the team isn't resting on their laurels. We would like to get over 2,000. That's been a goal for a while. But I think we could get 3,000 miles per gallon. So there are improvements that we're still working on. I make a car for tall people like you. <laughs> <laughs> you would never fit in that unless we bent you over. Yeah, the, the driver was 5'6". He said 5'6 on his right and 5'7 on his left <laughs> foot. But the, the super mileage team tells me that they are going to actually use that $3,000 award that they got to get ready for next year's competition. They're going again, uh -huh. where they say they actually do expect to get close to that 3,000 mile per gallon goal. They, they wow. say they think they can touch that which is just impressive to think about it. When they showed me the gas tank, the gas tank was a bottle about that big. <laughs> it was just crazy. That's incredible. Yeah.